Good morning, you two. Welcome back to Reading with Miss Dow, and we will be continuing the book Dinosaur Diary today, and we'll be doing a short prediction task and an example task. So without further ado, we're going to continue with the book. I felt myself being sucked around a corner, and then I was rising up, 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 faster and faster until my head popped out of the water. Was I in the same puddle or a different one? Was the Megalosaurus there waiting for me? I opened my eyes, and when I blinked the water out of them, I found I was in some sort of pond. Along with two creatures I had never seen before in my life. They were small, smaller than me, and feathery, with beaks, and they were swimming about, making what I can only describe as a quacking sound. When they saw me, they looked terrified. Fancy anyone being terrified of me, flapping like mad. They half ran, half flew out of the water onto an island in the middle of the pond. There they stood beating their wings and sticking their necks out at me angrily. Get out of our pond, they quacked. I swam to the bank and clambered out. I took no more notice of the two quackosaurus, or whatever they were called, because now I could hear another sound. One that I didn't like at all. I looked around me to see where it was coming from. There was no sign of this megalosaurus, but in the distance I could see something even worse. Coming towards me over some strange-looking bumpy earth, was a bright red monster. Instead of normal legs, it had round ones that rolled across the ground. More alarming still, it was letting out a dreadful loud deep roar. I didn't stop to find out anymore. I took off. I had no idea where I was going, and I was still limping slightly, but at least the ground I was running over was quite soft. It was covered in very short green, bright green plants. Where were the horsetails? Where were the tall ferns? After several minutes, I stopped and turned around. I could see the big red creature in the distance, but it didn't seem... Looking at the board here too, from what we've just heard, we are going to be doing a prediction task. So in your books, you'll be writing, I predict the red creature is, with your prediction, then underneath, I think this because, and the reason why. And look, like using what we've heard from the text, this will help you with your predictions to be coming after me. In fact, it was standing still and had stopped roaring. I could hear something else though, and it sounded like laughter, or rather high-pitched, twittery giggling coming above my head. I looked up. Some creatures were wings and fork tails were flittering about in the air. They were even smaller than the Quackosaurus. A lot smaller, in fact. What's so funny, I asked them. You are, said one of them cheekily. Fancy running away from a tractor. Is that what that red monster is? I asked. A tractor, did you say? I suppose that would be short for Tractosaurus. Do you mean to say it's a plant eater? The fork tails seemed to think this was funnier than ever. They broke into fresh twitters. This was too much. It was bad enough being scared and confused without being laughed at. I felt two tears prick, prick my eyes. The cheeky fork tail must have noticed because he suddenly became very polite and said, Swallows here. Swinburne speaking. How may I help you? I don't really know, I answered. But then I had an idea. Maybe you could help me find somewhere to lay my eggs. How about the hen house, suggested one of the swallows. No, not the hen house, said Swinburne. We all know what happens to the eggs in the hen house. I don't, I admit it. What does happen to them? They get boiled up in the farmer's breakfast, said Swinburne. Or scrambled, said another. Within the story year two, we have heard two examples of what might happen to the eggs. The first one being boiled for the farmer's breakfast, and the second one scrambled. The question here is, what examples can you think that might happen to these eggs in the hen house? So what year two do you think might happen to the eggs?